And now to the growing crisis in Europe. It's borders buckling as it faces the largest migration since World War II. Refugees fleeing Africa and the Middle East desperately trying to escape brutal civil wars back home. We take you now to Turkey, where Sy Syrians are taking dangerous risks with their families in search of safety. ABC's Molly Hunter is there with their story. Three-year-old Salem is ready for his first boat ride. His parents worry how they'll hold him, make sure he doesn't slip into the dark water on the dangerous and wet ride to Greece. Salem is one of thousands, risking everything. 350,000 people have crossed into Europe illegally this year, and so many little ones. Here, Fatima and Tibe wait at the beach with their father before their first boat ride. They don't know how to swim. Are you scared? Yeah, yes, he says he has his doubts. We went back to the beach that night, but smugglers don't want cameras around. We're just hiking out to where we hear that Syrian refugees are taking off for the Greek island of Kos. We tried the next night, hiking out to a different beach. 3 a.m., here they come. Hiding in bushes, the coast is now clear. They carry out a small, flimsy rubber boat. And within minutes, they paddle off silently. Not a word, no motor. Just behind me, we saw a family get into a very small rubber boat and take off for the Greek island of Kos. It's just 10 miles away. It could be the most important 10 miles of their lives. Here, another boat overcrowded in the pre-dawn hours. 26-year-old Mustafa sent us this video. He arrived safely at a different Greek island, Chios, just yesterday. But not everyone makes it. At least 2,300 people have lost their lives this year, and Wednesday, 11 more. The children, their corpses washing up on the beach, the same beach we were at just a few days ago. But running from death at home, they keep coming, hoping something better lies ahead. Molly Hunter. ABC News in Southern Turkey.